transformation. And um, we'll be looking at, even as we continue with uh, the third phase of this, um, what, we are, what we are dealing with, we'll be looking at um, the blessings of the heavens above. You know, it's, you look at that prayer that, um, that Jacob pronounced over his children, and when he got to Joseph, he began to pronounce a, an unusual prayer on, that, on, on him when he began to declare. In fact, the first pronunciation was that the, the speaking, that his speaking at that, that particular time exceeds the, the, the speakings of his progenitors, which means what he was declaring was like um, an override or um, a pushing further and ascension into a higher realm of operation of that which the, his fathers had, you know, had, had, had proclaimed. So it's like there was a shift because now he was calling a generational blessing. He was activating something in the life of his son, Joseph, the one who was separated from his brethren. And he began to proclaim, and he said, you, you, you are blessed with the blessings of the heavens above you. And that's what we want to dwell on today. You see that in Genesis chapter 49, for, you know, um, he said, you are blessed with the, with the blessings of the heavens above. Now, we proclaim those blessings. We make those pronouncements. We, as a matter of fact, go as far as even using it to pray for people, using it to de declare over children over 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 people over situations and over businesses however we do not understand that when he made that statement he wasn't just speaking there was an activation that was ongoing why because joseph was one man who operated in that gate he operated in that gate. So that pronouncement was just not about Joseph. It was talking about the generation that will flow out of, out of his loins and anyone who we connect with that, uh, with, 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 who will align themselves with the operations of that pronouncement. And that's why this morning we are also going to enter into, we are going to walk through that gate to lay hold on the blessings of that that was activated in that particular place and time and region. Amen. So he began to speak and he said that you are blessed with the blessings of the heavens above you. What are the blessings? What are the blessings of the heavens above? Now this is something that we need to come into if we are to fully, if we are to fully if we, if we are to fully operate, if we are to fully operate in the fullness and the key, uh, if we are to, to unlock those blessings and download the blessings of the heavens above us. Now we are seated with God, we, we are seated with Christ in heavenly places far above powers and principalities. So when he's talking about the blessings of the heavens, I was talking with um a dear friend yesterday, oh my, that's true. But talking with, 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 with um, a dear friend yesterday, and uh, he was talking, we we're sharing on, you know, uh, some of the activities that are ongoing in the land, surely the, the shifts that has taken place, um, which unfortunately the church is unaware of because of our usual, you know, our, our usual religious intensive religious practices um you know i saw something this morning somebody sent me a video this morning um, where um, in kano there was an organization a mobilized not a mobilization an organization hmm, oh my goodness there was an organization and i want us to pay attention to this because these are the things that when we are talking about priesthood for transformation we think that is a thing of joke we think that is something that um, we just wake up and we begin to, to speak. No, these are things that are deliberate. These are things that are intentional. These are things that you, you spend time, you spend years to build yourself into so that when you speak, your, 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 your 
voice is heard in the realms of the spirit. Now, these guys, you know, um, contrary to the contrary to the notion that the, the northern and the northern group they will not be in support of the West becoming uh, becoming president. Uh, the truth is, these things are not just by um, you know getting to know people, connecting with people, and negotiating things. It's actually done in the place of priesthood. So you see. There was a mobilization just of recent where they mobilized over 2,500 Muslims. These are people, I mean, the person that was describing, you will hear him say that some of these people, they have not met with women for months. Some have not met with women for years. Some, some have kept themselves from, away from food, you know, and they've shot, some have not seen outside. <clears throat> they've shot themselves in. And what have they been doing? They've been praying. For who? Bola Ahmed Tinubu to become the ne to be installed as the next president of Nigeria. So when you see that now uh, everybody is now uh, the people are now beginning to accept him, it it wasn't done because of his name. It wasn't done by reason of his coming out to say he wants to contest. It had been concluded. There was a mobilization. Of all the different factions, because even within the Muslim setting, there are different, let me use the word denominations, but when it comes to certain things that they agree on, they all come together, there is no division. That is what you don't get amongst the people called by God's name. And these guys, you see, when they speak like that, what are they doing? They are activating they are activating something in the spirit realm. They are activating something in the heavenlies. They are projecting and prognosticating things over the realm, into the society, into the atmosphere, so that when you now wake up, you walk on into that cloud. Because your priesthood is dormant. You have been ordained a king and a priest unto God who do not know. The operations of your priesthood, you don't know the you, you don't know the, 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 the essence for which you were ordained, so you are just there. You live like a normal person, but you are not normal. Come on. You are not an average normal person. You are actually, if I'm to describe you, I will say that you are a super being. But we go to bed, we wake up, we are looking for bread and butter. These guys, they understand power and they understand the operations and they know what, where power is wielded. They know it's not from this earth realm. Do we think it's just by waking up in the morning and saying that, oh, we want, uh, we want to start praying and we pray those wishy-washy prayers? No! We need to understand the prayers of activations. And guess what? In case you don't know it, <laughs> the one who ordained priesthood, honors priesthood. And that is why if you, who wields, who is supposed to be wielding the actual and the real priesthood, you are not entering into the place of the priesthood or uh, activation and, and operations, Anyone contrary to your own priesthood who enters into their own priesthood will be honored by the powers in the heavens. Do you think that Joseph just got to the throne in Egypt? No, it's because there was an activation when he was shown. Look at first. He was shown Sheaves, that was harvest. But to activate that which he was shown on the earth realm, they had to show him where the oppression or the power to activate that harvest was going to come from. So they showed him the sun, the moon, the stars, bowing down before him. What it means is that the power of the heavenlies 
to activate the wealth and the operations of the harvest on the earth, the key had been given unto him. So they bowed. Why? They recognized that this is a prince at the gates of the heavenly blessings. Are you recognized as a prince? Are you recognized as a principality in the heavenly gates? At the heavenly gates? Is your name known? When, pronouncement, when you make pronouncements, is your voice recognized? And if not, have you bothered asking yourself the question, why is my voice not recognized? Because until you begin to operate from that realm, until you begin to understand the operations, until you begin to activate the, until you begin to use the key that has been given unto you. Look at, again, in Matthew chapter 16, which has been popping up over and over again because it is so vital. Again, Jesus was saying, I will give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm. Why? Because that is where anything that is to happen on the earth, that is where it must be activated. It is originated from there. It is settled in that place. And it is from there that the authority is released that will bring about the reality and the manifestation of that which you have been calling for, which you have been crying about, which you have been praying about, which you have been shutting yourself in, which you have been believing God for. Amen. Can God depend on you? Are you sitting in your position? Do you even know? Do you even understand the operations of the position that you are seated in the heavenly places? Do you know the operations? Amen. Do you understand the operations of your seat? Do you understand the operations of your throne? Do you understand the speakings? Do you have you activated the priesthood that activates the pathway for your for your throne to operate, for your throne to have a speaking that is effective in the realm that you sit in council to govern and to rule over. If you have not, do not think that things just happen by, 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 by chance. I have spoken, if you have been following us, you would have heard me say things like, you know, um, about um, when people, uh, I told the story about a man, a young man who told us the story about his father, how the father would leave, would come out in the morning, sit, stand in the, in the front of his, of his compound, at the center of his compound, and begin to proclaim things in the spirit, release things, activating things. He was, he, he, he went into the heavens, activated things, and began to call forth from his own altar, he was operating, he was a principality. That man was actually occupying a gate, the gates of Hades. And he was operating from that realm and he would release things, pronounce all manner of disease and all that. What was he doing? He was actually creating his own world. Hello? Yeah, he was creating his own world. Because just after those procla proclamations, he goes into what you may call an office, which was his shrine, and he begin to set things in order, knowing that the customers will come. Why? He has created the world. He has opened a realm that allows the outpouring of those things that will give him access to wealth. Even though the wealth was just on the earth realm. But where did he operate it from? From the heavenlies. He created problems that, that he already had a solution for. That is what wealth creation is. That you are able to assess a realm where you see something that needs to be manifested on the earth realm. To solve something and to conclude something and you download the answer, you download the blueprint for the operation of that particular thing and you release it in the, in the spirit realm. Then you clear, you dislodge all powers and principalities and clear the gateway. 
That man will blow powder. The powder that he's blowing was like a seal to what he has concluded. Which means he has, he has created a cloud. Anyone that comes under that cloud bows to his will. Do you, you, what are you seeing? What are you hearing? What is being formed in your heart? Because until we come into this realm of oppression, my God, a people who, do not, who we say they don't have understanding, but guess what? They know something that we have but we are not making use of. For how long are we going to sit again and watch yet another operation take charge in our governmental system? Are we going to, are we going to endure another eight years of oppression, of corruption, are we going to be awake on our watch and a false priesthood? Yet another <clears throat> oppression from the gates of hell <clears throat> is released again and installed over a people called by the name of God? Somebody had an encounter. Who she sent to me. I just saw it this morning as I woke up. And as I was reading through it, the word was given her. That experience, that is what we call spiritual experience that are instructive. They were actually given, the, that it is, is, is not just a, it's an instruction, and that is anybody. And we all must be involved right now. And I'm not just talking about in Nigeria. In any place you are, you cannot afford to allow the operations of darkness to continue. And anybody who is going to wield the authority that will bring about transformation must ascend and assess the blessings of the heavens above. You must understand the operations of the constellations. You must, start, you must come into the activation of the warfare. You must come into the operations of Star Wars. The war of stars. Which it's a mantle that Deborah wielded, which means she created a pathway in the spirit, but it did not begin with her. You see it first with a man called Joseph. When he had that dream and he entered into that realm and he began to operate and he began to walk under the operations. Listen, if you want to assess your dream gate and walk in it effectively, you must understand the operations of the constellations. That is why you will see that astrologers, moon gazers, <clears throat> Even snake charmers and sorcerers, they connect with the operations of the stars to manipulate destinies, to change times and seasons, and even to manipulate laws. It is not from this place. It is not from the house of assembly. You can be in your room and be deciding what must be decided and what must be legislated in the house of assembly. You can be in your room and decide this is what they must legislate. This is what they must decide in the House of Commons. This is what must be decided in the Congress. In your own house. What it takes is you connecting with the operations of the, in your own case because you are aligned with a righteous priesthood. So you are connecting with the blessings of the heavens. 
where the where you understand the alignment of the constellations, the sun, the moon, the stars, and you begin to decree into them to give them the command because they listen to the command of songs. That is why even men who are not aligned, they can access to use them because it's a neutral portal. It is a neutral portal. A neutral portal means that it is not only a portal that only the righteous can access. The priesthood from the other side can also access it. And that is what these guys have been doing. So do you now see why Tinubu was in the hospital? People were passing rumors that, he would, that he's dead and all that. People were shutting themselves in. The moment he indicated that he was so what it means that that there was a time that he went to Kano, people were saying hey, that he's already making moves. But these people who understand their priesthood, that was the time that he went and he probably went to settle and he yielded himself. And from that time on, for those in the UK, there are certain places you will go to and you'll be seeing Tinubu's flyers as if he's even contesting for, for, for presidency in the UK. But what you did not know was that a priesthood was being administered and there was an altar that was speaking constantly. Yet the Lord commanded us, gave us a command in Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12 and 13. said, the fire that is burning upon the altar shall continually burn and it shall never go out. Say, this fire that is upon the altar shall continually burn and the fire shall never go out. And from verse 8, he was given the command on how the fire must be kept burning. The priest must activate and make sure that the fire is burning by feeding it, gathering out the ash so that the fire is not put out and striking the altar with fresh wood, fresh revelations, fresh unction, which means there must be a continual ascent. There must be a continual download. There must be a continual connection with the heavenlies in order to download and to understand what must be administered upon the altar. So that fire must be kept burning if there will be activations on the earth realm. What have we done with our priesthood? How far are we seeing? Why are we so short-sighted? Why have we not allowed the Holy Spirit to open our eyes to see into depths, to see into heights, to see the width and the breadth of the destiny that the Lord has given unto us? Why? And for how long shall we continue to wallow in this ignorance? Brethren, today, the Lord told me, instructed me. He says, son, today is for instructions. Today is for the, for the opening of the eyes. And I'm praying, my prayer this morning, oh God, my prayer this morning is that people be stirred in their hearts, that they become angry, that, they, that you be vexed in your spirit, that, you be, you, that there will be a holy anger burning with fire inside your vein. So that you will say enough of this slumber. I am awakening from my slumber. I am stepping into the ranch. I'm taking grip of the reins of my priesthood activation and speakings. Enough. Oh, enough. How long are we going to continue in this? How long, brethren? Are you not fed up? No, you answer me. Are you not fed up? Are you not tired? They devoted a whole Jumat service and they said it is a continuous thing. Look at, in that interview, the man said, yes, we prayed for the nation, we prayed for other things, but... The main aim for that gathering 
was to pray for Paula and Ned Tinubu. Priesthood. And we think that is by waking up saying, eh, 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 we don't want, we don't want a Muslim. We don't want the Sokoti people. We don't want the old brigade. Really? You think it's by your connections? Somebody had an encounter where he, she saw, she saw cattle charging at her. Those are foreign gods that have been imported to legislate their priesthood for the sake of taking the reins of power. And I'm talking with believers. And I'm asking them, what is the Lord saying concerning 2023? Nobody has an answer. Why would you have an answer when you have not assessed the heavenlies? And I'm telling them some things. What are they saying? They are saying, oh, that man is corrupt. Oh, this. Oh, this. Have you gone to seek the face of the Lord to know which star he is raising? We need to break this. We need to break this. Now, let me try to see if I can give us how to operate the blessings of the heavens above. Yes, we've been talking about it, but I just want to take it a step further. When Joseph had the first dream, we were in the field gathering sheaves. And behold, my sheep was standing. And your own sheaves, your own sheaves bowed to my sheep. And the brethren began to say, ah, Are you going to become a God over us? Then he now had another dream. I saw the stars and the moon. I mean, I saw the moon and the sun and 11 stars. They bowed before me. He was the 12th star. And the father said, ah, ah, Are you saying that your mom and I will bow before you? But that Listen, they were showing him an alignment. They were teaching him something in the spirit. They were bringing him into a place in the realms of the spirit. Where they were showing him how the stars, the moon and the, storm, and the sun had come into alignment because of what he had, because of the destiny that he, had been, that he was ordained to fulfill. And the only way to fulfilling that was to align with the constellations. Was to align with the operations of the heavenlies. So that as hmm, excuse me please. Okay. So that as he comes into that divine alignment there will be an oppression which though may look negative, may look impossible, but because he understands and he has come into alignment with the priesthood that speaks or aligns constellations, those constellations will, will ensure that no matter what it takes, they will get him into that place that he has been ordained to occupy. So while the father was looking at what would the inevitable because it will happen. However, there was a teaching. There was a download that no matter where you go, so long as the sun shines in that place, so long as the moon shines in that place in the nighttime, 
So long as the stars appear, you can see the stars in that place. You can be sure that your destiny is sealed. So every time it looks like things are becoming impossible, lift up your eyes and begin to speak, or look and discern the alignments of the constellations and begin to speak unto them, this is what you were ordained to do. This is what you were ordained to do. You are a, you are, you were ordained to fight battles that will create pathways for me. And it is from that realm that you begin to create wealth. You begin to download things that will rule the nations. That was why he was able to download a blueprint. Because, listen to this. Hmm. In Potiphar's house, he was governing all things. It was a training ground. They were building him. They were teaching him the principles. In other words, those constellations aligned. It was a period of training. They were, they were keeping watch when he says that, that the countenance of the Lord's face shine upon you, shine over you. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. What was he saying? He was saying that the sun will not walk contrary to what it was ordained to do so long as you are standing in alignment with, the, with that which God has ordained in the heavenlies for you to fulfill. The moon will not smite you by night. In other words, the, even though that the, 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 the priesthood of darkness projects things to hinder what you have, what you were ordained to do, they will not prevail. So, so that is why I say it, the moon does not release heat. So when he says it will not smite you by night, he was saying that the prognostications and the projections, the sorcery, the, the, the manipulations of, of the constellations will not harm you. And that was why you see that Joshua was also able to tap into that operation when he commanded the sun to, to stand still and the moon to stand still in specific places until they battled. What do you think was happening? Do you think the sun and the moon, they were just standing? No. They were, there was actually an alignment of the stars to do what? To also war with the Israelites. Just as it was that it was said that the stars fought against the Sarah. How did they fight against the Sarah? You will see that the stars, they began to command. There was an operation of the heavenlies that spoke, that communicated with the waters, the seas, so that every element of nature began to fight against the Sarah. Because if it was, if they were to stand, you know, if they were to fight on the ground level, the Israelites did not stand a chance. Because they did not even have weapons. But this Sisera had 900 chariots. What you will say that they had 900 armored tankers. Armored tanks. And yet these people were coming with sword. It's like people having AK-47 and you, you have dagger. But guess what? Joshua took the battle out of the earth realm and took it into the heavenlies by speaking to the constellations. Do you understand the blessings of the heavens above? So the next time you pray that prayer, Lord, I connect with the blessings of the heavens above. Understand what you are praying. Or next time you hear people pronouncing, where well, I proclaim over you the blessings of the heavens above. Understand what is being proclaimed over you. It is not just a speaking. It is an activation of the calling into alignment of the constellations for the release and the organization and the activation of the things that have been spoken into the heavenly so that you, there will be an easy access for the manifestation of those things on the earth realm. So your, the, the blessings of, you will not assess the blessing of the ground beneath you until you have assessed the blessings of the heavens above. That's where I'm going. You will not be able to assess and activate the blessings of the ground beneath you, nor the blessings of the deep, nor the blessings of the womb and the blessings of the breast until there is an activation of the blessings of the heavens above you. There must be an alignment you must address all of these powers and all of the constellations 
to begin, you must understand their destined purpose and call them. This is what you were created to do. You were created for my favor, for my benefit. I now call you into alignment that you begin to operate, to open up and to dislodge and go into battle on my behalf to fight the principalities, to fight the powers that had contended and have manipulated you. Drop them off. I am speaking as a son. For whom you were ordained to clear pathways and to create pathways and to clear highways for the release of the things that the Father has spoken from his throne to manifest on the earth. That is why he said, I will give you the keys of the heavens king, the, 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 the heavens kingdom, the the, the, the Kingdom of heavens, I mean the heaven, sorry, what am I saying? I'll give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm. I'll give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm so that whatsoever you allow on the earth is what has been allowed. Which means there are things that have been allowed by the Father. You must assess the Father's heart. Then you know this is how the sun is supposed to operate. This is how the moon is supposed to operate. This is how the stars are supposed to operate. This is what they should be doing now. Then you speak unto them. In the language of the priesthood that is flowing from the throne of the Most High. Because you are not doing that is why the, 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 priest, the, the dark priest, priesthood is assessing them to manipulate them. And from there they project things into the atmosphere. And men begin to come. As they wake up, they come under the influence of those things. And you think that they are normal. They are not normal. Is because those who are supposed to bring normalcy into the situation are asleep. The church is sleeping. That is why this morning, I, with a vexation of spirit, I'm just praying that the same thing, the same presence in this room, we pierce the platforms to create an atmosphere around you that will stir up a holy anger that will set up a vexation of spirit so that when you pray today and you speak things today, look at how, look at the delays that have been happening around you. You ought to be occupying a particular throne. You ought, you ought to be occupying a particular position. You ought to be releasing some certain miracles. You ought to be creating wealth. Look at where you are. Take a look at where you are. Take a look at your surrounding. Somebody somewhere, an infidel, a people who do not, who, oh my goodness, who do not measure up onto anything, will stand and will be commanding you to tell you this is what you must do or we will not give you what is due you. I'm saying this to stir up an anger that even where you are, you will be boiling inside, just waiting to pounce on the enemy. But the first enemy to deal with is the enemy of your mind, the stronghold in yourself. Stronghold of self. That which you have grown up with, that you say, mm, no, it is for others. Maybe I have tried. I'm praying that today we will assess the blessings of the heavens above so that there will be an activation. Because without that, there can't be, you cannot assess the blessings of the ground beneath you, not the blessings of the deep. How many of you, let's even use material things that are common. How many of you have seen contracts you saw LPO. You signed MOUs. How many of you were given briefs and you saw that you handled them and yet something else took it from you? Somebody was in my house the other day. In the days of her ignorance, 
when she was working in a bank. She said every time she leaves her seat just to go somewhere, by the time she's coming back, a particular guy will go and sit on her, will go and sit on her chair and will be work fiddling with her computer. <laughs> she Meanwhile, he has his own computer. He has his own chair. He has his own table. But he will always come to her own table to sit down. Then every time he will be going to the manager's office. Priesthood was going on, but she did not know. Then all of a sudden they called her and said to her, we want to, that there is an order from above. To sh she, was a she was in the position of a senior manager. The other was an assistant manager. Not even yet a manager. Not to mention senior. But this guy was going. She, he was administering a dark priesthood. And was also legislating it by going to see her seniors. All of a sudden they called her and said, we want to share your responsibility into two. And guess what? Who was guess who was going to take this the, the new office they were creating? That other young man. Then one day she came to the office and she sat on her chair. And it was as if something pierced her and entered, went right into her bowels, up to her brain. And she was screaming. And she said every 20 minutes she would be she would scream. And they rushed her to the hospital. They ran tests. They didn't see any. They, I mean, they were guessing between appendicitis and uh, a cyst. So they went to open her up. Thank God she insisted she, that not, nobody should open her up. When they took, when they eventually took the report to the medical director, thank God the medical director knew his father, knew her father, who was a medical doctor also. And that was how she left Abuja to return to Lagos. For treatment but the short longer short of it by the time she returned after two weeks the day she was to resume a young man from the bank came and said madam sit down and brought out a letter and gave to her they said you shouldn't it's not there there is no use returning to the office your job had been taken by another guess who took that job that young man that was sitting sitting on that seat that was priesthood but thank god she was wise she did not stop there. She went. She said she didn't complain. <laughs> that was maturity. She went and presented that letter before God. Say, Lord, this is injustice. This is injustice. And she left it there. She, that particular thing, that thing that entered was actually meant for death. If she had gone into that operation room, she wouldn't have come back alive. But guess what? That priesthood was that priesthood that dark priesthood was still speaking and it was still hovering because it must take a life. So when she presented and said, This is injustice, in less than three months, that young man they were to go for their honeymoon in Kenya. That was when the plane, one plane crashed, that crashed in those days, it's quite a long time now. That plane crash, that quite a number of Nigerians were in. That guy died, with his, along with his wife. You, she knew her rights. She did not kill the young man. It was what the young man did that backfired. You don't dislodge the righteous and occupy the place and think you will enjoy it. But that is because she, she, she could have started going to go and sue and all that. But she went to the judge of the whole earth. She activated something in the spirit. And that judgment reversed what was done. Wise we don't pray for the death of the wicked. However, if by their hand they try, he said, 
touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And these are the apple of my eyes. Whoever touches them touches me. I will contend with them. And that is why I said, with your eyes you shall you will behold the destruction of the wicked when you enter into the dwelling place of the Most High. All of these are operations of kingdom priesthood. So when we are talking about the operations of the blessings above, somebody was asking for the title of this message, it is the blessings of the heavens above. For the activations of these blessings, it is done in the place of your priesthood, administration, come legislation. So that you hear what the Lord has said, now there must be a you, you, you must occupy you must know that you are occupying a gate and that you have the key to the heaven's kingdom realm to align the constellations with the original purpose, the intended purpose, the pre-time purpose for which God created all of those constellations. You align them and you know them. They are right there within you. It's just that you have not assessed them because you had not taken time to pay attention to what was being said to you. So this morning, as we get into this thing, I used the dark priesthood that was that was administered in Kano to show us. Jesus was speaking, and with I have heard preachers say in the time of Jesus, <laughs> that in the time when Jesus walked this earth, that he said then that in that generation. That the children of that world of this world is wiser than the children of the kingdom. Can I tell you something? Even now. Since when did we know that election was coming? But look at these guys. Can you cast your mind back to no one to no movie still canon? That was when he went to make his intentions known. I remember when he began to give rice. That was December 2020, he was distributing rice, distributing things in Kano. Do you think that the rice that we are being given to people were just, uh, he just, he was just wasting money? It was priesthood legislation. You see, most of these things that these people do, when they would do Sarah and all that, those are priesthood legislation. What? They are carrying the essence that they have generated on their altar. They carry it out in the form of gifts and food. And as you eat, you come under that cloud. So he's going to dispute those things. He was activating something that he had settled in his priesthood. So except you and I who have been ordained priests unto the God of the heavens and the earth, except we arise to activate our own priesthood in order to shut down that demonic priesthood. Hey, I don't even want to confess it with my mouth because I know my priesthood. And I'm saying no to that operation because the Lord has shown me Certain things. How this same man was erased from his leg, it was remaining from just about here up. And I came out of that experience. And I knew that except the people called by God's name do not align with their priesthood, this man is not meant to be there. Except we refuse to align with that. If we refuse to align with that priesthood, you can be sure that another evil tree is getting ready to be planted. But we say no. We will arise. 
And I say this, even though I talk about Nigeria, but I say this in every place you are, whether in the UK, you are in your at your watch, you are seeing, you are seeing mayors springing up. They are coming, they are taking over gradually, except a righteous priesthood is activated over that nation. Don't be shocked that one day the prime a prime because that is actually what they are. In case you've not heard it, we know it, that what they are projecting now is that the next prime minister will be a Muslim. And listen, not just a Muslim, a Muslim that will begin to promulgate laws that will turn things around in the UK. When I say turn things around, not for good, for a dark priesthood to be established. But you can decide to say, not on my watch. I occupy a gate. I sit on a throne. And this will not happen. Except we make up our minds. In the US, do not think. I'm not just talking about Muslims. Contrary priesthood. Of darkness. If you allow them before the time, <laughs> let's be careful. However, you can operate the blessings of the heavens above. And from there you begin to turn things so that, yes, even though this dark priesthood is in power, yet they know that without this Joseph activation, a people who have assessed, who stand at the gates of the blessings of the heavens above, so that these ones, they have the power to lock. They are holding the keys, and they've been authorized to lock down certain things in order to starve that unrighteous priesthood and to shut it down eventually. Until we come into that operation, do not think that you can activate easily the blessings of the ground beneath you or the blessings of the deep or the blessing of the womb and the blessing of the Christ. I can dwell here, but because of the priesthood, what we are dealing with, priesthood for transformation, that is why I'm dwelling on the very source of that which activates transformation on the earth realm. It is the blessings of the heavens above that activates the blessings of the ground beneath, which is the operations of transformation. Can we unmute our mic and can we begin to pray? Let's press into God and ask Him, the Lord. That's what I'm teaching now. That's what I'm releasing now. The Lord, people, we come into the operation of the blessings of, of, of the blessings of the heavens above. Lord, we say enough of the operations of darkness. We refuse it, we reject it, and we say never again with the unrighteous rule over the righteous. Lord, we are not even talking about religious people. We are talking about a people, sons, a sons who know your name, a people whom you sworn, whom you people you have whom you have called by your name, whom you have taken and you have groomed and you have touched them, you have schooled them in righteousness. Lord, that these ones begin to take the place. That the prophecy that have been hanging over the nations of Africa will be activated and will now activate it from the realms of the heavens. That the blessings of the heavens above will begin to rain down like mighty, like a mighty outpouring, like a mighty downpour in the name of Jesus. Let there be a combination of the former and the latter rain. And Lord, let the, let the stars and let the heavenly, let the constellations of our Father begin to rain this down upon the earth. Thank you, Father. We bless you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name, we do pray. In Jesus' name, we do pray. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. All right, we come to the end of this morning's broadcast. Hmm, wow, please, don't just stop here. 
let this pro let these proclamations and decrees continue even as we engage spiritual mapping and as we begin to tell it's, it's like we are now entering into the actual purpose of which god ordained this meeting i pray i pray that we will assess these things and break into it and stop the operation this, this dark operation enough I don't know about you, I am fed up enough. And we shall prevail. We shall prevail. Because greater is he that is in us. That is in us than he that, that is in the world. I say congratulations to you. You will assess Amen. your blessings Amen. in the heavenly places. Amen. 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 And those blessings will, the heavens will speak to the earth, and the earth will kiss the heavens, and there will be a release of that. There will be a manifestation of that which had been ordained in the heavens. You will be a false partaker of that for which you have cried, for which you have stood in the gap. You will be a sign, for you are a gatekeeper, and you have opened the gates for the blessings to pour out. You will be a false partaker. You will you will touch you will touch blessings you will handle blessings this year this financial gate that is open unto God's people you will enter into it in the name of Jesus thank you our Father we bless and worship you we honor you King of Glory in Jesus mighty 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 name we do pray Amen Amen Amen, Amen. 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 Amen.